My name is Brian Turnbull. It's my privilege and honor to be the mayor of Northville, Michigan. This is the community where Northville High School is, and I was a student here many, many years ago when dinosaurs roamed the earth. We're going to take a little look at the background of what's going on in Northville and different initiatives and try to simulate it to what is going on in each and every one of our lives. Let's take a look. So over the next few minutes, we're going to talk a little bit about my roots in this area, as we all have roots and a background. We're going to talk a little bit about my why, why I am a mayor of Northville, why I am here today at this TEDx conference, and working together, working together as a community. You can get so much done together than individually. And looking at initiatives and our future. Aren't we all looking at our futures in life? We'll look a little bit more about what the future is in North of Michigan. Let's take a look. So to begin with, my background. I come from five generations of people in Northville. Back a hundred years ago, my grandfathers were in business in downtown. One was the barber, which was a storyteller in town. The other one was the electrician. He owned the Northville Electric Shop, where Baby Baby is downtown today. Pretty wild, in 1900, he went to a little school called Boston College, got an electrical engineering degree. That's like Star Wars today, isn't it? Electrical engineering in 1900. He electrified all the homes in this area. So we go back pretty far. I was here at Norfolk High School and I met my wife over 40 years ago. And we used to run and do different sports. And I was involved with all these different things that you're involved with today. And my father, who's in the picture up there, he was a historian for Northville for most of his 98 years, and his father before him, and today, I'm fortunately the historian of Northville also. So I'm always looking at our past to project our history. So my background is a little bit in corporate America. Ford Motor Company, Deloitte, Urban Science, and NIT Solutions. Looking at data, looking five, eight years ahead on strategy and future. And that's what we're trying to do today for Northville. And that's what each and every one of you are doing in life. Where do you want to go in the future? With that, my why. My why in life in general is broken down into three areas. My life philosophy, learn, do, and give back. The second thing is my experience. And the third is my family background. Like all of us, that's our background in life, isn't it? Let me explain a little bit more. My learn, do, and give back. My learn, we're part of it here. It's Norfolk High School. It's how you got here, the 12 grades to get you to be a senior in high school out here. And it's learning not only in school, but through different groups and sports, the TEDx group, you know, all these clubs. That's part of your learning. And as you go on in life, remember that. Every touch point is a learning touch point. You're going to learn from that and bring it forward. The do. The do in my life after all those learnings was working in corporate America. And you saw I was involved in a decision maker in different activities throughout North America and the world. The next area, which I really think is important, is your family background. You're going to learn each and every day as much from your family, from your siblings, from your parents, from your grandparents, on what to do, what not to do, and bring that forward, not only in your family environment, but your work environment and life in general. Family is extremely, extremely important to all of us. As we go forward here, and we progress, all of us are trying to bolster our strengths. We all have strengths in life, don't we? Don't you have strengths? Don't you have strengths? Norfolk has strengths too. And it's my opportunity as the mayor to try to bolster those strengths, to push us forward to the next level. Our strengths in town are one, our small town charm. We've been a city for almost 200 years. Our downtown business district is almost like it was in the mid 1800s. It's very important to support our downtown. Without a strong downtown, we won't have a strong community, will we? We'll talk a little bit about how we've done that. The second area to bolster locally is our scenic beauty. 
our rivers, our hills, our parks, our whole topography of this area. A hundred years ago, we were known as the Hamlet in the Hills or the Switzerland of Wayne County. Because we're the highest point in Wayne County. We have the only lake. We have three rivers coming through us. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. It's my job to make sure everybody enjoys that and we bring that to the next level. And the third area is education. Our Norfolk schools are outstanding. Norfolk High School, where we're here today, is one of the top institutions in the entire state. But it's more than the academics, it's involvement in the choir, in the band, in TEDx, in different uh, social organizations. It's our learning to get us to the next level. It's a great strength in the city of Norfolk and the community that this high school is all about. Success by working together. We can do so much when we work together instead of individually. Let me show you a couple examples of how we can do that. In Northville, Michigan, we had the first national fish hatchery in all of North America. We just spent the last year renovating that to make it usable with paths and opened up the river walkways and the ponds there for each and every one of us. For not only today, but tomorrow and for the next generation. We had cooperation from business, from uh, individuals, from different community activists to make this happen. And it happened because we all did it together, not individually, but as a team. Let me show you another example. Community cooperation. You probably heard a lot of communication in this past year. We supported this year down at Ford Field, our central meeting post. Uh, Black Lives Matters, equality for all rallies, uh, clean water, clean air. We wanted to educate everybody in the community how important it is. And who showed up? But thousands of young people, like each and every one of you, because you know it's so important, not only for today, but for tomorrow and for the next generation. That's why it was important to us to be involved I'm involved with a lot of conservation groups, too, up in Lansing, Michigan, in these counties. We have an area that is for the dump, we call it, or for uh, waste management. It's very important that we control everything from that area that doesn't get into our water and into our air. Very important for not only us, but for each and every one of you that are young out there. Community support. Again, we can't do it alone. We need support from Washington, D.C., from Lansing, from the counties. Uh, I represent Northville, Michigan on very many community activities, the court systems, the state, and in D.C. We have to get our word, words heard, and we have to work with our individuals, our elected officials, to help us get to that next level. So it's working together as one for the community as a whole. Exciting new initiatives. In your life, in each and every one of your life, you have initiatives. These are our initiatives. Think in your life how you're going forward with initiatives. This is how we're going forward in our local community. The first initiative that I'd like to talk about is our downtown social district. I think some of you have been down there. We have closed down our streets. We really started when the pandemic hit. And I'm the emergency manager, too, besides everything else in this area. And when we did that, we wanted to keep our businesses going. So we had drive-up lanes for takeout. That went to shutting down the, the downtown street. So we had a social environment so people felt comfortable, masked up, social distance. We had some music in the background instead of the foreground. We're very fortunate. We have the the lowest infections in all this tri-county area because we tried to open up the city and have space there. It was important for our businesses and it was important for each and every one of our citizens. We wanted to keep it going so when winter came, we built chalets and put heaters in them so people could still get out and enjoy our downtown section. A lot of kids, you guys are kids in my age, uh, so from that, a lot of people continued through the winter and now we're going into our second year, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I thank each and every one of you for all you did. We had individual support, corporate support, and civic support.
to make that happen. Another initiative that we have going forward is the river walk. We talked a little bit about that. One of the 18 sections will go right through Northville Downs. We are the headwaters for all the river systems in southeastern Michigan. We have three coming into Northville right in downtown that feed the Rouge, that feed the Detroit River, that feed the Great Lakes. We have more fresh water in Michigan than any place in the world. And it's up to us to feed that uh, in a freshwater and economic way. And it's up to us to enjoy that. We're looking at almost a San Antonio river walk system that will have a walk system that will connect our city parks to county parks to the state park. It'll be outstanding. We're going to daylight all those different rivers here. So that is something I have dozens of people working on. They've looked at it four or five times in the last 50 years. We're going to get it done uh, because we have a lot of people and the teams are looking at it like you work together on teams. Next one. Farmer's market. We have an award-winning farmer's market. Meets every Thursday down at Norfolk Downs area from May through October. It's been there for almost 100 years. Well, we're right in the midst of thoughtful development. We're looking for the next location and what are the attributes that they need. It's an unbelievably important thing for many of us in the community to have vegetables and flowers and to have a place to recreate and to gather in the whole bit. That is another initiative. Again, not one person, but dozens of people are on this task force. And we're looking at the betterment of the community. Even some people from the high school are involved with that. And our citizens and corporate America too. It's going to be exciting for the future. We're gearing up for the next uh, century of farmer's market in Norfolk, Michigan. Another one, Ford Field. Henry Ford Loved Norfolk, Michigan. He spent his honeymoon here in the 1880s. He liked it so much, he walked up and down the riverfronts. He bought a lot of that property and donated it to the city for different parks. One of those parks is Ford Field. Ford Field has been a great gathering spot. We even played football games. The high school football games used to be in Ford Field, if you can believe it at one time. Um, Today, we're right in the midst of reinventing that as a city park for all to enjoy with vistas. From that park, you can see the water, you can see the hills, you can see the green space. The topography of Northville as the hamlet in the hills and the Switzerland of Wayne County is evident in that park. We're going to make it very easily accessible and even have an amphitheater in there, perhaps. So we're in the midst of that. Again, it takes a team. It takes a village to raise a child. It takes a whole town to get these initiatives going. And we have that going right now. And one area that brings it all together is the sustainability team. I was very fortunate two years ago to put together a sustainability team to look at the future, to look at each and every one of your futures. Where do we need to go? It is economic, it's environmental, and it's social. And you've seen some of those touch points. Think about that in your life, how you want to be sustainable, what you want to do in the future. If we don't look at that, we'll run out of time to get there. Again, I'm always looking five or eight years down the line. The sustainability team makes sure we do that for each and every one of these initiatives. We all in life have support on what we do, don't we? It's our family. It's our friends. It's our teams at school. It's people that you know each and every day that support you. All these initiatives can happen because we have support for it. I went out and I went face-to-face with about 152 businesses in corporate America and asked them, what can we do for you to assist for you to bring something to the table for Northville? A lot of them came back to me and said, hey, how can we give our time and talents? As an outgrowth of that, we put together a Northville Community Support Fund so they can give their time and talents, they can have their employees come out and help on these initiatives. They can support us in many ways. So with that, four levels, from the civic level, from Washington, D.C., Lansing, and local counties, how we can support what we're doing. Second, corporate America, so they can support these initiatives we just talked about. Third is different funds in America, uh, charitable funds. We're looking at that and individuals. We can't get it done 
individually, we need the support of all those groups. And again, in life, each and every one of us needs support, don't we? Future visioning, from what we just talked about, let's take a look about where we're at today and where we're going to go tomorrow. We talked just a little bit about Norfolk Downs. One section of the river walk could be right through Norfolk Downs. We have a river that runs underneath it. It's unbelievable. Let's daylight that river. We are going to daylight that river for the benefit of each and every one of us. On, on the bottom left, you can see what Norfolk Downs is today. It's been outstanding. It's been a racetrack for almost 100 years. Now it's time for thoughtful development and thoughtful development of the park space in there too. You can see to the right, uh, different walkways that could go in there, open up the parkway to a green space in that upper right. That gives you a little bit of vision. And also, the next pictures are from the northern section, a park running right through the middle of Norfolk Downs to connect that to downtown Northville with some uh, commercial space, some apartments, and even some homes in there all connected to the river, all with four or five acres on one side of open green space, three or four acres in the middle. It should be outstanding for each and every one of you in the future. Let's take a look. Future visioning in life, I think, is one of the most important things we can do. How did we start today by talking about we have to know our history, where we're at today, to project where we want to go in the future. We want... In the near future, when people come into Norfolk, to know our brand, to know what it's all about, to know the touch points that are Norfolk and the gateways to the community. By 2027 will be our bicentennial. It's an extremely important time for us. We'll be here 200 years. All the things we talked about should come together by then. The walkways on the rivers, Ford Field, the Riverwalk, our gateways to the community, and this development should be outstanding for each and every one of you. Think about in your life what you want to do and how to plan to get there. These things just don't happen. You can see we have a support plan behind this. We have initiatives and we have dozens of people on each one. Same thing in your life. We all have 60 minutes in every hour and 24 hours in a day to get things done. Think how you use that time. That's the difference between you and everybody else in life. I thank you very much for your time today. Carpe diem. Seize the moment. Thank you.